NASA's Ingenuity helicopter is gearing up for a historic test flight. The tiny chopper, which is about the size of a tissue box, is preparing to make its first attempt at a power-controlled flight on Mars. Joining us to talk more about this historic test is Dr. Lori Glaze, NASA's Director of Planetary Sciences. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. So what is NASA hoping to learn from this historic test flight? Wow, it's going to be really amazing. We're hoping to demonstrate the first powered, controlled flight on another planet. We hope to be able to uh, get this helicopter to spin up its blades, lift off the ground about 10 feet, and then come back down, and that will be that successful demonstration of flight on another planet. And we hope to learn just exactly how well we can fly in that, that environment on Mars. Well, what makes flying on Mars so difficult? The atmosphere? Yeah, primarily the atmosphere, yes, because the atmosphere on Mars is only about 1% as thick as Earth's atmosphere. So it's very, very thin atmosphere. And you need atmosphere, you need the molecules in the air to mm -hmm. help you get the lift that you need that we use to fly. So that makes it really, really challenging. So I understand Ingenuity is carrying a little piece of history with it. What can you tell us about that? It is carrying a piece of history. We're calling this a Wright Brothers moment on Mars, and to honor the Wright Brothers uh, for the first flight, powered flight, on controlled flight on Earth, we're carrying a little tiny piece of fabric about the size of a postage stamp, a little piece of that fabric from the first Wright Flyers airplane. It's being carried along on the Ingenuity helicopter. Wow. So what is this test flight going to be like? I mean, how long did you say it's going to be? It's only going to be a few seconds long, that first flight. We're going to spin up the blades. We'll lift off the ground, probably about 10 feet above the ground. We'll hover for a couple seconds. We're going to do a little rotation, and then we'll come back down. So a couple of tens of seconds. So baby steps. So how will baby this help steps. with future missions, crewed or robotic, to Mars? Yeah, this is really going to demonstrate uh, a new capability that we can use to change how we explore other planets. Uh, in particular, uh, being able to send uh, an aerial craft like a, a, a helicopter like this could go in and access places that we can't reach with our, with our robotic rovers or with human explorers, can go in and explore areas that we can't reach or do reconnaissance and scope out the various pathways that we want to take to get to the next uh, destination. So I think this will really be extremely helpful in our future exploration efforts. I mean, and again, this is a very small device. How difficult was it to design? Oh my gosh, it was incredibly difficult to design. And again, because the atmosphere is so thin on Mars, uh, many people thought it couldn't be done. Um, it's really challenging. So not only being able to build something that's light enough that could fly in that, that low uh, density air, uh, but also something that can do completely autonomous control. And we can't joystick it, it's too far away. The light time delay is too mm -hmm. long. So it has to respond uh, autonomously to winds and other things in the environment um, completely on its own. So an extreme challenge to, to build this, this little helicopter. Well, obviously, a lot of people are going to be interested in this. Our meteorologist, Larissa, is always interested in anything from NASA. So where can viewers go to keep up with Ingenuity? Good question. You can go to go.nasa.gov slash Ingenuity. Well, Dr. Glaze, we appreciate you joining us. Good luck on this adventure. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Thank you. Thanks so much.